guys, welcome to the vlog. It's a big day. We got training and working all day. Um, I'm really gonna try to fit this in. Let me get situated here. So it's a big Saturday. I have a training ride plus a full day's work. I'm gonna try to take you guys along the way so you can see how the, the training and the work comes together and all the training stress plus the life and work stress, how it builds up and what it does and how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. I have a, a long ride tomorrow. Let's see what that comes out to if I'm able to do it with all this kind of stress in my body. But it should be a fun day. It's a local wedding. The only thing is that it's raining. It's okay, it's indoors, but the loading in and out might be kind of not ideal. Overall, uh, I'm excited about today. I am running late, so I did have to shorten my workout down to an hour and 15 instead of a 90 minute. So I chopped it down a little bit. It's all good. Train the Road has all kinds of things where you can find alternate workouts. So that works, that comes in so handy. I am going into the workout fasted. I normally don't do that. It is early. I just don't want to pile a bunch of oatmeal in my stomach before a threshold kind of workout. You know what I mean? So I just had coffee. I'm going to take a gel and I'm going to jump on the bike. Let's do it. Fritzy, how you doing? There it is, it looks like Swiss starts. Let's see, the, the intervals themselves are 235, four minutes, four minutes long, plus that, that kind of sprinty effort, 371. And I got a bunch of them. All right guys, let's talk about these intervals. I'm just warming up here. I always run out of breath so quickly when I first start the warm up. You know that feeling when you just like jump start your, your ride? and immediately your heart, my heart rate is 137, I don't know why. It's only been like three minutes. Anyways, it immediately, after the warm up, it cools down my heart rate, it kind of settles. My body's like, all right, we're doing a workout. I gotcha. <laughs> Anyways, I usually use erg mode on my trainer and that means that my trainer is being controlled by the software, so I just gotta keep my cadence up, I don't have to shift. Come on, heart rate. I'm doing a little bit of watts, 222 right now. Sweet spot. Anyways, I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take it off erg mode for this. Cause I wanna do those sprints. Um, if you don't, if you use erg mode for like really short kind of sprint efforts, it'll take the trainer like five seconds to get up to watts, maybe more. And you're kind of wasting it. So, I'm not gonna use arg mode for the sprints, for the short efforts. Let's get to work. Okay, I'm at 150, I don't know what the deal is. All right, it's the final interval. These are doable. I'm gonna try to really spike the sprint at the front and the sprint at the end. Let's see what I can do, empty the tank. Yikes. Back to art mode. Woo. All right, work is done, on the bike at least. Time to get ready for my day job, which is uh, with my band. I'll take you guys along. It looks like a rainy day, let's check it out. Oh man. Yeah. It's gonna be a nasty one. Let's get to it. 
Okay, so I am on the run. I have to cook and get ready in about 30 minutes. So this is my go-to cooking ritual. Something very quick, turkey sausages. I'm gonna put it in there. Uh, I'm gonna have my shake right now. I use Vega Sport protein because I'm lactose intolerant and I can't have like the whey protein. I'm gonna put a banana, put some spirulina. I've got the rice already cooked and the beans for my lunch. Let's get this going. And there it is, I got lunch and I got my snack for later at work, bam. When I forgot I add ketchup usually, just for fun. Oh, I forgot my side of beans. Gotta have those beans. <laughs> All right, so I'm off to meet our sound technician and we're gonna go to the garage, pick up our work van, and then we're gonna go to the venue. So for those of you who don't know what I do, I own a, a wedding band business. So we, we play for the receptions. We're the life of the party. The most engaging live cover band in Brooklyn and New York, Mod Society. Um, I started this band like 10 years ago. It's been a wild ride. Now we have a couple of bands um, and we play just all over New York, New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, the whole works. The season is just starting. This is our first wedding of the season. Uh, super hyped. We're going to this venue called Brooklyn Winery. It's one of my favorite Brooklyn wedding venues. I love it. It's a little on the small side, so we can't fit our nine and 10 piece configuration in there, but we're still gonna rock the house with a six piece band. And we're also doing the ceremony and cocktail hour. So it's a whole full day's work. And today's client is more on the, the top 40 side of things and they express their preferences um, and they kind of killed all the Motown, at least most of it, which is a, a bummer for me. I love playing the Motown. I play bass. So all of those Motown grooves, those bass lines, man, they're so much fun to play. The top 40 stuff, you know, Dua Lipa, I love her because she's, uh, she has more of that retro vibe, which I love. Um, it's really fun to play. But other than that, you know, the standard two or four chord songs that are out there, they're not the most fun. They're only fun if the crowd is really into it. So let's see how the crowd reacts. I have no idea uh, if it's gonna be a super dancey crowd or what the vibe is, but we are gonna rock the house. We're gonna blow the top off this place like we always do. Yeah, what's good? All right, we're at the garage. We got Vaughn, our A1. Yo, what's up? How's what's gone? happening? <laughs> We got the whole truck loaded up. Let's get to work, man. Boom. drum keyboard, okay. no horns, but one sub over here mm -hmm. and one like we can't block. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you the before. Here it is. Time to get dressed in my dressing room here. <laughs> there it is. Let's go. See hat or no hat? I don't know if this is a vibe, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Alright guys, let's check out the setup. Looking good. We're like 90% there. We still got the keyboard going. And this is what it looks like, six pieces. Boom. Alright, we're all set up. I got my coffee here. I'm feeling pretty good. I kind of did tweak my back a little bit during the load-in. Not good, but I'm gonna be alright. My legs are feeling good. I'm a little bit dehydrated. I gotta stay on top of, of the liquids or I'm gonna wake up tomorrow just way too dehydrated. Hey, buddy, papa. How you doing? Hello. 
Yes, <laughs> I can help you. <laughs> this is your office? This is my office, yeah. What do you have here? Hybrid? Hybrid, yeah. Ah. Oh. So every minute, the... Oh, there it goes? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay, that was a drummer. He's been playing with us for 10 years. Good guy. Hey, how are you? How you doing, man? All right, so we have flipped the room. We went from ceremony now to dinner mode. Check it out. Compact band set up right here for dinner. Alright guys, that does it for today's vlog. I'm feeling good, but I'm tired, man. I can feel like my back was used up, you know? I used it a lot. Uh, my legs are fine because of all the sitting that I did. I intentionally do that. I intentionally sit because I want to save my legs. And every now and then I'll jump around. It's all good. Have a good time. Um, shit, where am I going? But um, I'm dehydrated, I'm tired. My shoulders are really sore. Anyways. That's a day in the life. Um, today we ended at 10 p.m. which is really chill. Usually we're ending at 11 or midnight and we're out like two and a half hours driving. So this is chill. I'm feeling good. Tomorrow I have a long ride. Uh, I think that I can do a three hour ride after a work day. Let's find out. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to jump on here as I'm editing the vlog. Want to tell you that I did end up catching a cold that night. Uh, the next day, I did my three-hour long ride. It was great, but that evening I had a sore throat, and the next day on Monday I definitely had a cold. So um, it's currently it's Tuesday. I have a cold. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get over it, but it it is my recovery week, so it kind of lines up. Hopefully, I'll be good to go by at least Sunday. We have races. We also have another race on Saturday. Um, let's see how that pans out. But thanks again for watching and subscribe for more content like this. Peace. Pretty, how you doing, buddy? Hey, all right.